Well, good morning, everyone. You know what time it is. It's <laughs> it's 6 a.m. And you know what that means. Pokemon news time. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's Pokemon Presents, we will be sharing information on several of our games, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. But before that, I'm happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that will be held in London, UK, this year from August 18th to August 21st. Yes. Please have a look at this video. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International and I'm delighted to share with you updates on our annual Pokemon World Championships. After three years, our global community will come together August 18th to 21st in London for not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. We are expecting thousands of players from around the world to compete in this year's trading card game, video game, and Pokemon Tournament Deluxe events. Many players Pokemon have long journeys be here, Paul. earning their invitation over several years, and we are thrilled to learn who will earn the title of world champion in 2022. Oh, you get this a jacket? Year, we That's are also cool. adding many new elements to the show, beginning with two new Pokemon titles. Please join me in welcoming Pokemon Go, where nearly 100 players will compete across two ages. Oh my God, look at him go. Look at him go. Pokemon He's tapping, United, dude. Where 16 teams from 11 regions will compete. These players have battled all year for their shot to earn the title of the very first world champion in these new categories. We also have a few surprises in store for fans attending in person, including our largest ever Pokemon Center World's pop-up shop. For those unable to attend in person, you can follow all the action from wherever you are on our dedicated live streams for each product, including coverage of every championship match for each age division. Pokemon tournaments are held around the world, and we hope the competition yeah, shout out to Frosty Caribou for snagging a commentator position at Worlds this year. Good job. Proud of you, girl. And one more thing. It's my honor to unveil for fans today our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu trophy. Take a look. Oh, we got a trophy now? That's pretty sweet. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you in London, and now I would like to hand it back to Mr. Utsunomiya. All right, Pokemon Sleep, please. Let's go. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years, please look forward to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Okay. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our games. For the first time in three years, we held in-person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. And this weekend, we will be holding an event in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts have appeared at each event. And these Ultra Beasts will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale event. It will Pokemon be Go's crazy. On August it's super cool. The finale but is like, a global event hey guys, come to by trainers wherever they <laughs> come are to Berlin to catch a Buzzwall. <laughs> what? Pokemon they may not normally see in the That's kind of crazy. They can also encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman by completing special research. Oh, that's cool. Will you be able to help re-contend with the Ultra Beasts? No. And what has become of Professor Willow, who was sucked into Ultra Space through an Ultra Wormhole? What happened to Stay him? Stay tuned for the story's conclusion. That sucks. <laughs> Additionally, Daily Adventure Incense has been added to the game. It's a special incense that can be used once a day and lasts for 15 minutes. It can attract Pokémon not normally seen in your area, and rumors say it might even attract legendary Pokémon. Use Daily Adventure Incense for a 15-minute cool. adventure every day. Are they free, though? Over the past six years, we've seen Pokemon so. from every region debut in Pokemon Go. There are now over 700 Pokemon you can register to the Pokedex. It's pretty insane. Whether you're making new friends at Pokemon Go Fest or having heated battles at the Pokemon World Championships, the entire world is the stage for Pokemon Go, and our adventures are just getting started.
The Pokemon Girl World Championships crack me up. Just tap the screen as hard Pokemon as you can. Unite, the hot app for <laughs> Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Okay. Pokemon Unite has continued to grow and evolve since its release one year ago. In celebration of its first anniversary, we're adding not only new Pokemon and features to the game, but also many events and campaigns. A new type of quick battle, Pika Party, will begin today, August 3rd. In this special type of quick battle in celebration of our first anniversary, <laughs> all Pokemon on the field, both wild and players, are Pikachu. We hope you join in the festivities. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Additionally, Buzzwool will be joining Unite Battles starting today, August Terrifying. 3rd. Buzzwool is an all-rounder that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. Run amok in battle with Buzzwool's ability, Beast Boost, which temporarily increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out an opposing Pokemon. That's cool. This first anniversary is just the start of what's to come in Pokemon Unite. We're planning more events for September as well, so please stay tuned. Oh yeah, Tyranitar is coming out. That's pretty cool. And we're gifting Unite licenses in Hollowware for Pikachu, Lucario, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in celebration of the first anniversary. I actually play this game quite a lot. Cool. Alright, Pokemon Sleep. No, this is Legend Arceus, isn't it? Nope, that's red. This is Pokemon Masters. Okay. Hey. Interesting. <laughs> That's all we get? Okay, cool. You too. What's this? Looks like Mewtwo's back in the Pokemon Cafe Remix game, and it's hungry. Make delicious drinks and dishes with your cafe staff to treat Mewtwo to a wonderful time. This isn't Once you Pokemon make a lot sleep. Of delicious drinks and dishes in one minute cooking to fill Mewtwo up, it can join your staff. It looks really cute. Here are some hints on how to play the one minute cooking puzzle mode to satisfy Mewtwo. Tip one, gather great staff. Mewtwo likes to order small plates, so gather staff that specialize in small plates. Pikachu, Squirtle, the five-star chef Victini, and the newly arrived Latias Th are it's really those cute orders. Maybe I should try it if out. If you want to aim for the high score, try raising your Pokemon staff level. Go to the Pokemon oh, menu it's, to start it's very raising nice. their staff level by training them. Once your great staff is up to the challenge, it's time to begin one minute cooking. On to the second tip. Just keep on mixing as much as you can. Once you begin oh. one minute cooking, Keep on mixing the Pokemon to rack up those combos. Use these tips to make delicious drinks and dishes, and you should be able to satisfy Mewtwo. We hope you'll give one minute cooking a try. And there's more! Following Latias, who just appeared today, Latios will also appear in the future. Wait, there's even more! We have a special campaign underway starting today. This is your chance to get Victini and Latias on your staff. Wow. Pokemon Cafe Remix is available at no cost to start and is playable on Nintendo Switch That's systems start. and mobile devices. I don't trust when they say that. Ooh. Look at our chonky boy. He's so cute. Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Alright, it's not a drill. Everyone calm down. A 
Attention, please. Today we begin the treasure hunt. Okay. Travel across Paldea. So it is called Paldea. Okay. Get to know the region. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the that. Nature. The rich culture. The Pokemon. Okay. Nothing new yet. And the people. That frame rate on that Pachira suit looks a little rough. Where will you go? Who will you meet? What will you achieve? I don't know. What is that? What was that? With you will be your Pokemon. Journey together. Okay. Learn together. Grow together. It's going so fast. That's on Ice Cube. Find Whoa. something to treasure. We're gonna have to replay this. Ooh. Okay, so this is the gimmick? Chris Crystal? Did they make a this type of design for each Pokemon? That's insane. What is happening? Let the treasure hunt begin. Okay. <laughs> Didn't tell us anything. We're now starting to get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented, so let's take a closer look together, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. The newest titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Okay. These titles will be open world RPGs, a first for the Pokemon series. Cool. Sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region, where your new adventure will unfold. These are the legendary Pokémon, Coridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner in your adventure. Climb on! And together you'll dash across grassy fields, move across water, Why does he have and wheels glide through the sky. If he runs. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore every yeah. nook and cranny of the region with them. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. And a special independent study project awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Three grand stories are waiting for you. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. Okay. In these games, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. This is very normal. Chart your very own course along Victory what? Road. <laughs> that thing looks so cool. Give us an uh, set. The set other two stories you'll experience hold many surprises and discoveries as well. Which story will you begin go, with? Go. How will you progress through them? It is all up to you. Is there anything secret in the background? Professor Sada and Professor Turo, research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Cool. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. He's not and evil. Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches biology. I'll trust you'll you, have Jacques. your battle loving friend, Nimona. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. 
There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. There are gym leaders too, like Grusha, the ice type gym leader. Grusha. The people you meet in Paldea are sure to enrich your adventures. Many different species of Pokemon also call the Paldea region home. This Pokemon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. Wooper. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Oh, it's film. so cute. Fido are delightfully squishy Pokemon that what are smooth that? to the touch. And here's Satitan, which has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. I like him. Of course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxly. Enjoy meeting lots of Pokemon. Okay. And complete your Pokedex new ones are gonna as give part us? of your adventure. <laughs> By using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co-op play with up to three friends. Okay. You can go look That's for really Pokemon cool. you haven't yet discovered. Or even ride together to race across the map. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. Terrestal. Terrestalize. The terrestrial phenomenon Terastal. makes Pokemon shine like gems. What does it do, though? All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able to terrestrialize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves stronger. Okay. Some Pokemon will change type when they terrestrialize. What type they become seems to depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terrestrializing, but there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terrestrializing. Interesting. We hope you'll try to catch Pokemon with rare Terra types. Okay, that's cool. Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. You can challenge Terra Pokemon in these battles with up to three other trainers. The ring back this raid is a battles new just kind cool. Of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. What does that even Try mean? to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. After you successfully defeat a Terra Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. So that's what the crystals meant in the last video then, was the Terra types. We've kept all the things you Caesar. love about Pokemon, while evolving the adventure you can have in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your adventure. Oh, we do. The Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games are available to pre-order at participating retailers now. Your independent study in the Paldea region begins in three months. We eagerly await your enrollment. That's all for today's presentation. Okay. Thank you very much. No Pokemon for sleep, in but that's okay. All right, we're going to rewatch the uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer now, and I want to try to see if I miss anything. We're going to be pausing it to talk about it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like these are all known Pokemon, except for the Whoopers. I didn't catch that before. These are Whoopers. I hope he becomes like a big axolotl. That's what I'm hoping for. Cute. Snowruns, Gyarados, Honchkrow, Murkrow. 
Attention, please. Today we begin. Those are the legendaries. The treasure hunt. Yes, the treasure hunt. Okay. Travel across Paldea. Okay. Get to know the region. Um. Yeah, I'm not saying anything new yet. <laughs> the wings that come off his head are so funny. <laughs> the abundant nature. I don't not like it, but I don't like it. I would say. Dreadnought. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dreadnought. What is that? Oh, are those the uh, elephants? I think those are the elephants. The rich culture. Schools, Psyduck, some Flora. We missed something. Okay. All right, I don't see any secrets hidden there. The Pokemon. Fletch, Fletch. Uh, there's the new one. Slack off. Cacnea, Donphan, Dragonair. Okay, okay, nothing and new. This Pachirisu right here. Am I in the way? I am. Um, here, you can see its tail. The frame rate looks a little bit rough. If you saw that, it was a little bit jittery. Okay, characters, characters, characters. Where will you go? Who will you meet? Okay. Nothing too what super hype yet. I really like that new Pokemon. With you will be your Pokemon. I like ice types. All right, we didn't learn anything about the legend, the the starters really. Learn together. Okay, Rotom Phone is in the game. Grow together. I missed it. Sorry. Grow all right, Sylveon. I'll talk. All right, so nothing new here, but the. Pokemon look really good. Like that Caesar and the Hat Hatrine. And like this the they pop. Like the shading on the Caesar, I'm really impressed by right now. So together. Noivern. Noivern's really cool. I really like Noivern. That's Ice Q and Stonejourner. That's Hariyama, right? So, uh, okay. Find something to treasure. And this is the terrestrialized thing that can give you different types. So the diamonds are normal, the water spouts are water, the grass ones are grass, the balloons are flying. So each type has a different thing that pops off their head. And then each and that Dragonite Dragonite had what fire typing? Water yeah, that's the chandelier, which is fire typing. So it sounds like with the terrestrialized feature, their Pokemon are going to have hidden abilities, and then they're also going to have separate terrestrialized typings. So if you can get, depending on how the terrestrializing works, imagine if if every Pokemon could get every single type of typing with this, and you can add that type to them per battle. That's what I think is going on. I don't think every Pokemon will have every type available to them, but it would be really cool if they did, but it would be a mess balancing wise. So I bet you they will all have a main typing and then they will have like a rarer secondary typing. That is my guess, but we will see in the future. All right, we got Slow King. What is that on the right? Claude, sir, Luminion. Really looking for new Pokemon. Hard to find. Let the treasure hunt begin. Hariyama. Nothing else. Okay. Okay. Not bad. So. All in all, it looks... Very promising, very exciting. Still sad we haven't heard anything about Pokemon Sleep. Maybe next time. But um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is looking awesome. Cool. Um, yeah.
thanks for waking up early and, and watching this with me. If you enjoyed it, <laughs> let me know. I'm very tired. I might go back to sleep. I might do that. Anyways, thank you all so much for being here. If you did like this video, make sure to like it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you're thinking about getting Scarlet or Violet. I am leaning towards Vi uh, Scarlet, although although I really like both the legendaries, but I, I'm leaning towards Scarlet. So let me know what you're into down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.